1. Chapter minus 1. Introduction to Agriculture. Learning Objectives. After studying this chapter, students will be able to know. Meaning of Agriculture. Know about major branches of Agriculture. Introduction. The term Agriculture is derived from Latin words Ager and Cultura. Ager means land or field and Cultura means cultivation. Therefore the term Agriculture means cultivation of land. I.e., the science and art of producing crops and livestock for economic purposes. Definition. Agriculture is defined as the art, the science and the business of producing crops and the livestock for economic purposes. As an art, it embraces knowledge of the way to perform the operations of the farm in a skillful manner. As a science, it utilizes all modern technologies developed on scientific principles such as crop improvement, breeding, crop production, crop protection, economics etc. to maximize the yield and profit. As the business, agriculture as a business aims at maximum net return through the management of land, labor, water and capital, employing the knowledge of various sciences for production of food, feed, fiber and fuel. In recent years, agriculture is commercialized to run as a business through machinization. Agriculture is now a holistic approach of growing crops and livestock in a proper manner to meet the food demand of the country, which is drastically increasing. Thus agriculture is now taken a form in which it has large number of identified units. These units not only provide farmers and growers an option of livelihood but also provide better need-based farming options for the society. Branches of Agriculture Agriculture is the branch of science encompassing the applied aspects of basic sciences. The applied aspects of agricultural science consist of study of field crops and their management, agriculture, including soil management. There are a large number of fields under agriculture, as under. Plant breeding, genetics is the art and science of changing the traits of plants in order to produce desired characteristics. Plant breeding can be accomplished through many. 2. Different techniques ranging from simply selecting plants with desirable characteristics for propagation, to more complex molecular techniques, see cultigen and cultivar. Plant breeding has been practiced for thousands of years, since near the beginning of human civilization. It is practiced worldwide by individuals such as gardeners and farmers, or by professional plant breeders employed by organizations such as government institutions, universities, crop-specific industry associations or research centers. Agronomy is the science and technology of producing and using plants for food, fuel, fiber, and land reclamation. Agronomy encompasses work in the areas of plant genetics, plant physiology, meteorology, and soil science. Agronomy is the application of a combination of sciences like biology, chemistry, economics, ecology, earth science, and genetics. Agronomists today are involved with many issues including producing food, creating healthier food, managing environmental impact of agriculture, and extracting energy from plants. Agronomists often specialize in areas such as crop rotation, irrigation and drainage, plant breeding, plant physiology, soil classification, soil fertility, weed control, and insect and pest control. Horticulture is the other important section of agriculture which comes from the Latin hortus, garden, and cultura, cultivation, from cultus, the perfect passive participle of the verb colo, I cultivate. Hortus is cognate with the native English word yard, in the meaning of land associated with the building, and also the borrowed word garden. Cultivation and intensive focus to crops like mango, banana, supporter, guava and vegetables like tomato, potato, onion comes under the section of agriculture. Divisions of horticulture. Horticulture crops include fruits, vegetables, flowers, plantation crops, spices, condiments, medicinal and aromatic crops etc. In addition to these, horticulture also deals with raising of trees for shade, ornamental and avenue purposes, planning and raising of ornamental gardens, parks and raising of seed and planting material. Further, horticulture also deals with the utilization of horticulture produce and improvement of horticulture crops. Hence, based upon the crops dealt and also their purpose and utilization, the branch of horticulture is subdivided into the following divisions for convenience. Homology, it is derived from two words i.e. Pomum, meaning fruit and, logos, meaning discourse or study. So, homology is study or cultivation of fruit crops. For example, mango, supporter, guava, grape, banana etc. Fruit, it is a developed and matured ovary with or without accessory parts and which is generally eaten as raw. Oloriculture, it is derived from two words i.e. Oloris, meaning pothoban, culture, meaning cultivation. So, oloriculture literally means pothob cultivation. In the present days it is introductory agriculture. 3. Broadly used to indicate the cultivation of vegetables. For example, brinjal, okra, tomato, pumpkin etc. Vegetable, it is any part of the herbaceous plant that is generally used after cooking as a principal part of the meal. Floriculture, it is derived from two words i.e. Floris, meaning flower and, culture, meaning cultivation. So floriculture means study of flower crops. In this there are again two subdivisions. 1. Commercial floriculture. 2. Ornamental floriculture. Commercial floriculture, deals with the cultivation of flower crops grown on commercial scale for profit, income. For example, rose, jasmine, carnation, aster, and marigold etc. Ornamental floriculture, it deals with the raising of flower crops for ornamental, pleasure and fashion purposes. For example, dahlia, zinnia, cosmos, hibiscus, balsam, narium, poinsettia, hollyhock, gerbera, and gyadia etc. Arboriculture, this branch deals with the raising of perennial trees meant for shade, avenue or ornamental purposes. For example, polaltia, spathoda, cassia, gulmohar etc. Plantation crops, are those crops, which are cultivated in an extensive scale in large contiguous areas, owned and managed by an individual or a company and whose produce is utilized only after processing. For example, coffee, tea, rubber, coconut, cocoa etc. Spices and condiments, this branch deals with the cultivation of crops whose produce is used mainly for seasoning and flavoring dishes. Spices are those plants, the products of which are made use of as food adjuncts to add aroma and flavor. For example, pepper, cardamom, clove, cinnamon, all spice etc. Condiments are those plants, the products of which are made use of as food adjuncts to add taste only. For example, turmeric, ginger, red chilies, onion, garlic etc. Both spices and condiments contain essential oils, which provide aroma, flavor and taste and they are of little nutritive value. Medicinal and aromatic plants, it deals with the cultivation of medicinal plants, which provide drugs and aromatic crops which leaves aromatic, essential oils. Medicinal plants, are those plants, which are rich in secondary metabolites and are potential sources of drugs. The secondary metabolites include alkaloids, glycosides, comarins, flavonoids and steroids etc. For example, periwinkle, opium, methi, cinchona, diascoria yam, belladonna, senna, sarpagandha, aswagandha, tulsi etc. Aromatic plants, are those plants, which possesses essential oils in them. The essential oils are the odoriferous steam volatile constituents of aromatic plants. For example, lemongrass, citronella, palm rosa, vetiver, geranium, davanum, lavender etc. 4. Post-harvest technology, it deals with the processing and preservation of produce of horticulture crops. Landscape gardening, it deals with the planning and execution of ornamental gardens, parks, landscape gardens etc. Nursery and seed production, it deals with the production of seeds and planting material of horticulture crops on commercial basis. Plants grown for aesthetic value are also included in horticulture. Though crops like potato, cowpea and several condiments are grown as field crops they are included under horticultural crops when they are grown as vegetables in small areas. 
Horticulture also includes the fields like mushroom cultivations which is concerned with cultivation of mushroom in a controlled and intended manner to use it for the purpose of food especially button mushroom i.e. Agaricus bisporus, which is common in cultivation in India. Agroforestry is the science dealing with land use management system of growing shrubs, trees around or among crops or pasture land. In simple words it combines agricultural and forestry technologies to create more diverse, productive, profitable, healthy, system for farming. Most common plants used in the agroforestry are Sobabul, Pongamia, Jatropa etc. Forestry it deals with the large-scale cultivation of perennial trees for supplying wood, timber, rubber, etc. and also raw materials for industries. Soil science is the study of soil as a natural resource on the surface of the earth including soil formation, classification and mapping, physical, chemical, biological, and fertility properties of soils, and these properties in relation to the use and management of soils. Sometimes terms which refer to branches of soil science, such as pedology, formation, chemistry, morphology and classification of soil, and adapology, influence of soil on organisms, especially plants, are used as if synonymous with soil science. Soil scientists have raised concerns about how to preserve soil and arable land in a world with a growing population, possible future water crisis, increasing per capita food consumption, and land degradation. Agricultural microbiology is a branch of microbiology dealing with plant-associated microbes and plant and animal diseases. It also deals with the microbiology of soil fertility, such as microbial degradation of organic matter and soil nutrient transformations. Agricultural biotechnology, also known as agritech, is an area of agricultural science involving the use of scientific tools and techniques, including genetic engineering, molecular markers, molecular diagnostics, vaccines, and tissue culture, to modify living organisms, plants, animals, and microorganisms. Agricultural engineering is the engineering discipline that applies engineering science and technology to agricultural production and processing. Agricultural engineering combines introductory agriculture. 5. The disciplines of mechanical, civil, electrical, and chemical engineering principles with the knowledge of agricultural principles. Agricultural extension is a general term meaning the application of scientific research and new knowledge to agricultural practices through farmer education. The field of extension now encompasses a wider range of communication and learning activities organized for rural people by educators from different disciplines, including agriculture, agricultural marketing, health, and business studies. Extension practitioners can be found throughout the world, usually working for government agencies. They are represented by several professional organizations, networks, and extension journals. Agricultural economics it is an applied field of economics concerned with the application of economic theory in optimizing the production and distribution of food and fiber, a discipline known as agronomics. Agronomics was a branch of economics that specifically dealt with land usage. It focused on maximizing the crop yield while maintaining a good soil ecosystem. Throughout the 20th century, the discipline expanded and the current scope of the discipline is much broader. Agricultural economics today includes a variety of applied areas, having considerable overlap with conventional economics. Agricultural economists have made substantial contributions to research in economics, econometrics, development economics, and environmental economics. Agricultural economics influences food policy, agricultural policy, and environmental policy. Human dependency on animals similarly completed by the field of animal husbandry which deals with the management and care of farm along with dealing with genetic qualities and behavior for fulfilling the livestock needs of the society. Dairying, the human need for milk is taken care by the field of dairying which refers to long-term availability and production of milk, which is processed further for eventual meeting the need of milk of the society. Some of the most common named cow breeds for milk in India are Gare, Red Sindhi, Sahival, Tharparkar, Rat, etc. Poultry is the branch of agriculture which deals with the rearing birds kept for meeting the food demand getting the eggs they produce, their meat, their feathers. In India some of the reared poultry breeds are Asail, Karaknat, Naked Neck, Sonali, Devendra, Priya, Tennis, Punjab, Brown, Gagas, Lolab, Kashmir, Leghorn, etc. Piggery is the field which concerns the farm rearing and breeding pigs for the livestock purpose. Pigs convert in edible feeds, forages, certain grain byproducts obtained from mills, meat byproducts, damaged feeds and garbage into valuable nutritious meat. Most of these feeds are either not edible or not very palatable to human beings. Some of the pig breeds reared in India are large white Yorkshire, land race, middle white Yorkshire, Hampshire, Durok etc. Apiculture or beekeeping denotes the rearing and maintenance of honeybee colonies, commonly in natural and artificial hives for the purpose of getting honey and bee products. 6. Bee species like Apis floria, Apis dorsata, Apis mellifera are commonly known for rearing, in all these Apis mellifera is most commonly reared species. Sericulture is a branch of agriculture dealing with the silk farming, that is rearing of silkworms for the production of silk, especially the species Bombyx mori L, which is commercially used in Indian regions like Assam, Meghalaya, that are of prime importance in the field of sericulture. Agriculture entomology is the branch dealing with study of agriculturally important insects and pests, while soil microbiology deals with soil property and health, water management plans such as irrigation and water use systems are also equally important for the holistic development of agriculture. Nematology is the scientific discipline concerned with the study of nematodes, or roundworms. Although nematological investigation dates back to the days of Aristotle or even earlier, nematology as an independent discipline has its recognizable beginnings in the mid to late 19th century. Plant pathology, also phytopathology, is the scientific study of diseases in plants caused by pathogens, infectious organisms, and environmental conditions, physiological factors. Organisms that cause infectious disease include fungi, umycetes, bacteria, viruses, viroids, virus-like organisms, phytoplasmas, protozoa, nematodes and parasitic plants. Not included are ectoparasites like insects, mites, vertebrate, or other pests that affect plant health by consumption of plant tissues. Plant pathology also involves the study of pathogen identification, disease etiology, disease cycles, economic impact, plant disease epidemiology, plant disease resistance, how plant diseases affect humans and animals, pathosystem genetics, and management of plant diseases. Animal husbandry, maintenance of various types of livestock for direct energy, work energy, milk and meat. Husbandry is for direct and indirect energy. Fishery science, it is for marine fish and inland fishes including shrimps and prawns. Home science, application and utilization of agricultural produces in a better manner. Home science, application.